with the top line. The union cabinet is likely to approve the supporting GST legislations, which will then be introduced in parliament. The government is moving fast to meet the July 1 target date for the rollout of GST. The four supporting legislations, they are compensation law, central GST, integrated GST, and union territory GST. Well, the GST council had given approval to these four legislations as well as the state GST bill. Foreign investors pumped in $3.4 billion in capital markets so far this month because of the sentiment around the BJP's landslide poll victory. The latest inflows come after a net investment of nearly 16,000 crore rupees last month. FBI's infused 17,124 crores in equities, 4,950 crores in debt, which is a combined inflow of 22,074 crore rupees from the 1st to the 17th of March. Expressing concerns over mounting bad loans, the Bank Bureau Board uh, Chief, that's Vinod Rai, he has written to the Finance Minister as well as the PMO suggesting a roadmap to wriggle out of the NPA problem. He suggests expanding the ambit of Oversight Committee to provide guidance under other available mechanisms including deep restructuring, joint lenders forum and strategic debt restructuring. The BBB was set up as an advisory body by the government last year. Yogi Adityanath emphasizes his government is committed to fulfilling all promises made by the BJP in its manifesto, the Lok Kalyan Sankal Patra. Well, on uh, the weekend, the Agriculture Minister Radha Mohan Singh had also said that the BJP government in Uttar Pradesh will waive off loans of small and marginal farmers, as promised in the party's election manifesto. And he also said that the centre will be welcoming other states if they felt like doing the same.